Let me explain why the Tinoco S5 wet dry vacuum with steam might be the best wet dry vacuum on the market today. This is the best tip you can get. Make sure to clean it after every use. The features that come inside of the Tinoco are listed here. You're going to be getting the LED display, similar along the lines as other eye loops, easier maneuverability, smart voice guidance. This has a stealth clean cleaning mode. It has a dual tank system, so the tank, dirty water and clean water tank never mix. So this is everything you get inside of the box here. It's the same handle as you would get on the S5. Here is the base. So we're going to just set up the base. First, we're going to attach our attachments. These just slide in. They have a little bit of the sliders on. Similar to your Tinoco S5, your S3, and other Tinocos, all you have to do is clip these in. Your handle, you just have to insert your handle. Rated power is 1440, because that is a heater here. On the S5, 1440 on your S5 Steam. So the Tinoco S5 Steam weighs just about 11 pounds. It has a very large clean and dirty water tank that's going to be able to store just about 25 ounces of water in each. They're both the same size. It's going to be coming with a extra long power cord that is heavy duty. It's able to sanitize and deodorize your floors without any solution. And you're going to be using regular tab water inside of the water tank. I use regular tab water and I have extremely hard water where I am. This has additional height relative to the Revolution Hydro Steam. Not that much more, but because of these curved design here, it's not just a straight edge, it's gonna be able to kind of feed in whatever particles you have directly underneath. So we're gonna try this on a test with oatmeal and oat milk, as well as picking up regular milk. And we're gonna run it in multiple modes and just see how this performs overall. Because I have high hopes for the Tinoco S5 Steam. So first we have some milk. We're just gonna be using regular milk. We're gonna use half a cup. And we're gonna see how the Tinoco S5 works just for liquids. So. This is just for liquid. Here is your clean water tank. This is how you open it. You'll notice that it is a little bit angled, actually very angled. So you will want to you will want to fill it up this way. The max fill line is all the way up top. Because it's a steam cleaner, please use tab water only, as it says. I find the Tinoco S5 Steam, because it is built on already a pre-existing great platform in the S5, and the addition of steam was done right, with a larger dirty water tank, so you don't have to empty it as much, with a steam self-cleaning mode, so it's gonna not only be able to clean itself, but it's also gonna be able to deodorize itself, because what does steam do? It also helps remove a lot of the caked on or dried on uh, smelly things like food that you might be picking up. So next up, we'll have our rolled oats. Handful. Because this is the same test we tried on the Bissell Crosswave Hydro Steam. So let that mix up a little. This is a lot. So we're going to spill some clunks out. And you can see the mess that is coming out here. It's a lot of different particles, just like we did with our Hydro Steam. You can see that the eye loop is detecting that all of the solution, and you can see how much steam this is producing. A lot of steam. In terms of cleanup, you can easily open it. You can take the brush roll out easily. You, you have areas in terms of the um, base to store all of this and have it dry quickly, which is gonna be something very easy to do. It doesn't take a long time to clean your machine, which is one of the biggest drawbacks of using a wet dry mop or using any type of steam cleaner. Tinoco S5 not only improves your experience, but it shortens the amount of time you spend vacuuming or mopping. Sweet. 
So we are going to empty our dirty water tank. This is full of milk and oatmeal. It's very easy to do. As you can see, we just have to pop off the top. Just spill everything onto the floor. You can see how big of a mess we made. Massive mess. Here, let's see how well this picks up. We're gonna put it on steam just for good measure. Let's see how much steam this is producing. A lot of steam. Also does a great job picking everything off the floor, even on steam cleaning mode. See the eye loop system working. Easy to clean as well. You just have to pop this off, rinse it, and you have your brush roll. The great thing about the Tinico is that the inner housing here is pretty simple. There's no areas where all the debris can really get caught because it's fed directly into the tank. And that's one of the best reasons that I like it. It's because if you look at the bottom of your system, it's completely closed and you can see some of the splashing that has happened, but that's because we picked up basically a cup and plus a, more than a cup of debris as well as a cup of milk. Start self-cleaning. Cleaning brush roller. Long story short, the Tinico S5 Steam is going to be easy to use, easy to clean. It uses steam to self-clean itself. The dirty water tank, you don't have to empty it as often as other wet dry vacuums, and, and it's very light. There are going to be some drawbacks. The machine, because it uses eye loop, is going to automatically adjust its suction power, which is great, but you can't just increase the suction power at your own personal whim. So the Tinico S5 Steam must be reclined for the steam to work or for the brush roll to be active. Now, what that means is that if it's in the upright position or even close to it, it will turn everything off. So even though your machine is on, you can control it, nothing's actually gonna be operating in terms of the mop or the vacuum parts. If you're going through tight corners and it's keep going into closer to an upright and it deactivates the steam function or the brush roll, you get a voice prompt. So you might be getting a lot of voice prompts. So sometimes when I use it, I get like 10 voice prompts. But the good thing is you can turn off the voice prompts because there's a button there that you can either turn off the voice prompts or change the language. There's a lot of languages that it can speak. It can speak French, Spanish, German, English. There's a lot of languages that Tinico can communicate with you with. So it checks off all the boxes. Maneuverability is good. Cleanup is good. The steam is good wet dry vacuum is good because that's an S5. So really the only question you have to ask yourself is, is this the perfect wet dry vacuum for you or is it the right vacuum with steam for your home? So with that, thanks for watching everybody. Hit that like and subscribe button below. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section so we can get back to you. And I'll catch you next time. This is David with the French Glow signing off. Bye, bye, bye.